the apartment of famous violinist Joshua Bell. He is a classical music star and we're going to take a look at this apartment which is modeled after a 300 year old Gibson Stradivarius violin. Come on. So I'm here to meet up with the architect, Charles Rose. Hi. How are you? Good. Great to see you again. Great to see you too. So, do you mind giving us a walking tour and kind of hit the highlights? Be my pleasure. So what did you think when he said, okay, architect, design me a home that feels like a violin? Did you give him a look like, what? <laughs> uh, well, no, I was trying to get a project at that point. Uh, but I, of course, told him I thought that was a brilliant idea. But in fact, it was. Yes. Uh, it became a wonderful reference point. Um, you know, you can think about music as a metaphor in so many ways. Absolutely. We could literally relate to the violin and its materiality. Or we could think about how music flows and we could try to capture that in the sense of the space. Pleasure. The 3,800 square foot loft is located in an old manufacturing building. The top floor's kitchen, dining area, living room, and study form one large open space that doubles as Joshua's personal stage. Josh loves to give performances at home and we needed to create a space where he could give those performances. So we actually created this living room, we stepped down if you look over yes. there, you have what is really part of the living room, but it's a performance space. So Josh can stand there by the curtains uh -huh. uh, and he can play to an audience of at, at usually it's about 50 people uh, at, in these very intimate salons. So he can play chamber music wow. and entertain his guests when they come to visit. But what we did was we first looked to the materials. So if you look around the apartment, we use babinga wood, which is oh. very much like the body of mm -hmm. the violin. And we use this wange wood, which is a dark black wood, very much like the ebony that's mm -hmm. used on the violin. So already you start to get the feel of the texture and the color of, of that artifact. We, we really, uh, in this apartment, we have a lot of glass, we have a lot mm -hmm. of transparency, a lot of natural light, and we even included that glass here in these stainless steel and translucent panels. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we set that against uh, these very dark uh, stones, the very dark very wenge. Very dramatic contrast. Quite I dramatic. Love it. Quite Absolutely. Dramatic. Quite formal, but also casual at the same time. And Glass and steel stairs lead to the roof deck that offers 1,600 square feet of outdoor living space. We divided it so that the south half of the, of the uh, roof is this outdoor dining terrace and the north half of the roof, which is the roof that has the view of the Flatiron Building, uh, that is more an area for taking a hot tub, sitting by a fire, or... Can we check that out? Oh, absolutely. Right, let's go. Joshua Bell's rooftop spa features an outdoor shower, hot tub, fireplace, and, for little people watching, these World War II ship binoculars. It's a poetic place where musical metaphors dance as decorative details, such as the F-hole patterns of stainless steel engraved in all the heating registers in this ladder, and where modern sculptural forms are rendered in timeless materials of wood, limestone, and steel to create a warm and intimate home.